Hey maths teachers, today I'm going to show you how you can use single GeoGebra file to show uh, different graphs on the same screen. Here I'm using some text and buttons to show different graphs but in this video I'm going to use sliders to achieve same result. So let's get started and uh, let's create a very similar stuff what I have shown you. So here I'm doing a slider, I'm using a slider just to show a question and then its answer or the interactive answer and it's it's very easy to create so how to get start we can go to the GeoGebra go to your profile or sorry app downloads and uh, GeoGebra Classic 6 that's what I recommend click on it and you will see an open space where you can actually add a text as a question or an image and then its solution. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a few uh, functions. For example, x square. I'm going to type. Then I'm going to type sine x. Then I'm going to type e to the power x. Now there are three functions, but I don't want to see them all together. So it's very similar to create multiple screens, right? And uh, it can be done very easily using one single trick. That trick is you just need to add a slider. So here, click and add a slider. Click anywhere on the screen. It is going to create a slider for you. You can give a name. Let's say uh, question. I'm just saying question. So minimum value, you can stay one and then maximum five or whatever. Increment should be one because you're going to jump from question one to question two. So that's how you can create a slider and use it to show each graph one by one. So click OK. Now what you have to do, if you move the slider, nothing is happening. Right? Question one, two, three, four, etc. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, make these functions appear on a particular value of my slider. So, for example, for my first function, I'm going to click on these three dots, go to settings, and where you can see the basic information, color, style, and then advanced. So, you, this is the focus point where you have to actually uh, see. Let me just zoom in. Yeah. So, what you have to do, go to advanced and here condition to show object. So, I'm going to actually uh, because this slider, you need to know the name of this slider. If you don't know, then you may get wrong. So I'm going to click on the slider just to see what is the name of that slider. So go to basics and see it says question. So you can just copy from here and go to your first function and advance type the question and the value for which you want to see this function. For example, I want to see this function for 1. So question equals to equals to 1. It's always going to work with double equal. Okay. In my next videos, I'm going to show you how to enter not or the other conditions as well. So here it's just for 1. So I'm going to just enter and uh, you can you, you just go on another settings and when you come back to the same setting, you will see a different type of equal to sign here. So same thing you can do for the second one. Here you copy and paste equals to 2 and the third one it's for 3. So now our interactive or you can say multiple screens are ready in one file of GeoGebra. So you can just move the slider, go from 2, look, 3 and then see there is nothing on 4 and 5, right? So the same thing I have done here, if you have noticed, look, I have a question slider and then solution slider. So on a question slider, I am just showing this text, right, on both question and solution. But on the solution slider, I'm only showing the curve and the relevant equation of that tangent or whatever thing. So if you want to know this, let's create very uh, quickly. So I'm going to just jump here and go to GeoGebra again. I'm going to leave it because I just want to create another one. So go to App Downloads and GeoGebra Classic 6. So as I said, 
create one slider and you can give whatever name you want but make sure you give the minimum value one to five or two whatever so I'm because I'm gonna show only question and solution so I'm gonna use one to two with increment of one so click OK and here you can uh, uh, you can move it wherever you want this thing on screen uh, yeah so this is what I'm gonna do just a moment yeah don't forget to go to move every time because it's still active the thing which you have did you have done so just for a moment yeah now it's fine but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a text here so adding a text is easy you go to the same tool where you can see the slider so on number two you can see text click anywhere on the screen and just type your text for example find the equation of a tangent for the function like I'm gonna use the same one as I did earlier e to the power half x yeah if you struggle how to type these things you can go to advance and then choose from here the formulas and then you can use them uh, in the same in an easy way so for example I wanted to have a exponent here so I can use this this thing and it's gonna show me uh, something like that and where I can add it so I'm gonna add it x minus 2 and at the place of a I'm gonna write 2 right and then um, I need another exponent so I'm gonna click again but I don't need x here I need e and here 0 0.5 x so that's how you can type any math format on this text box so we our question is ready find the equation of tangent for the function fx equals to this at x equals to negative 2 right so done and you can just click uh, sometimes the text is not really good so what do you have to do because we have we have selected uh, uh, latex because of equation so you can go to edit and uh, what you can do mm, there are two options you can just in front you can type text and use the curly braces and that's it or you can just ignore this and go to end so this is how you can type a text which is gonna look like a book text and just to highlight it you go to settings and color go to background make the background white so now your text is ready right but we don't want to put any condition on the text right we want to put the condition on its function or its graph so what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to type function fx equals the one which we just uh, used. So e times half x, right? Look, my function is ready. And sorry, as I said, go to move every time. So look, you can move. If you want to you remove your text from there, so you can move it here and then lock it. Right click and lock. So if you're going to move, it's going to move all together, right? So, okay, now my function is ready, but I want to put condition on my graph, right? So graph should be visible if my slider A is at number 2. So go to advance, A equals to 2. That's it, done. Now, uh, because I wanted to have a point on the function, so I'm going to click on this point, point on object, click anywhere on the curve right and then you go back to move now uh, tangent is inbuilt in GeoGebra so just type tangent look you're gonna type tangent and then you can see multiple options I'm gonna go on second option tangent point and function because I know my point and my function so my point is a and my function is f done so you can move your point A or you can just animate. Click on this and you can animate it. So it's, it's really good and uh, you can do uh, these things very easily. But we didn't put the condition 
So we can definitely put the condition. I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna put condition on the line. Click on the line, go to advance, A equals to two, done. You want to show the point also? It's up to you. Click on a point, go to condition, do the same thing for this, done. So you go back, you don't see the function, you don't see the curve, you don't see the tangent. And similarly, you can add a text of that, right? So for example, if I want to have a differentiation of a function and then value of those, so you can definitely figure it out from here. So if you type derivative, right? Derivative of function, derivative of function f, right? So my derivative of the function is also there. And if you want, don't want to show this at first point, so you can always go and click. So put on a equals to two, right? So this way you can actually play around. So look, it's, it's gonna demonstrate that uh, at x equals to negative two, my tangent is actually horizontal to the x, uh, horizontal line and it is parallel to the x-axis. So you can just use the slider. The purpose was using slider. There are other options as I was showing uh, in this one where you could see buttons. So these are buttons actually. I'm clicking on buttons and every time I'm getting uh, different values. So the same thing you can achieve using a slider, right? So thank you. Uh, leave your comments and then uh, suggest if you want to see something else on GeoGebra. Bye.